Hey guys, how you doing? So I read an article in, uh, I think it was Forbes or Fortune magazine. Let me just pop up uh, what I got here. So here it is. Fortune says, uh, bosses are firing Gen Z grads just months after hiring them. Here's what they say needs to change. So there you go. That's the piece. Uh, you can go look it up on Fortune. There's something called the Googles. You can look that up. So I'm going to answer the question. I read the article, but I've been talking about this for years now. It comes down to professionalism. Uh, a lot of the Gen Z grads apparently don't know how to conduct themselves as professionals. So it, it becomes quasi-political, unfortunately. It becomes quasi-political. Ideas that I grew up with have become controversial. Like the idea of taking on a personal responsibility uh, about being super helpful, as opposed to saying, how can people help me? You have the attitude instead of saying, how can I help people? How can I help this company be more successful? Because if the company is successful, they pay me. Another attitude change is thinking about how you view your rights vis-a-vis -vis the business. Now, for me, I say, if the company wants to fire you, you get fired and you want to quit the job, you should be able to quit, right? You shouldn't be locked in to a job. You shouldn't be forced to work anywhere. And on the flip side, you shouldn't feel that you should have the right to work for a particular company. You can make, now I'm not saying don't negotiate. You should negotiate a good salary and good terms. You should 100%. But if you can't come to an agreement, you shouldn't feel entitled to it and, and, and through force of law, trying to force employers to give you something. No, just leave. Go somewhere else. You know, that's it. So uh, you can go look up that article. And it's just, you know, at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's about interpersonal skills. will make you successful. Again, I've been talking about this for a long time now. It's about uh, being professional, showing up on time, following the etiquette and the protocol. So, for example, the last job I had working for somebody is 1,000 years ago. I was a bouncer in a nightclub. Bing, 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 bing. And um, in that nightclub, it was a high-end nightclub. And even though we got to scrap it out every so often, which broke up the monotony of working as a bouncer. Anyhow, uh, we had to wear like a fancy suit. It was a fancy upscale club. So I had to wear like a, a suit. Did I have a tie? No, I had a dress shirt. Uh, nice black shoes, no white socks, black socks. And I had to wear this because that was the dress code, right? I couldn't go in there with shorts and a t-shirt because it was an up, upscale club. And that was fine. You know, that was the job. That was hard to do. So one of the things they cited in the article were uh, these Gen Zers, I guess, these young grads come in, they assume that they can just wear a dress wherever they want. They feel it's somehow imposing on them to have to follow a certain etiquette or protocol at the company. Dress code. It's, it's silly. It's childish. Sorry. Sorry. You go to the job. You apply for the job. This is the protocol. Here's the deal. Boom, boom. We want you to act this way. You got to show up at this time. You're writing code in this language or whatever it is. And uh, you got to dress like this. And you got to go around, not call people names. You know, it's just normal. So I'll leave you with this. It's incredibly empowering when you decide that you're not entitled. It, I know it seems like a dichotomy, but let me tell you, when you decide that you deserve what you put out, you get what you give, as I used to say, uh, and you, you make an effort to make people's lives easier around you, it's going to pay off in spades, squared. It's unbelievable how useful that is. Just saying, just saying. But if you're a type of person who expects everybody to cater to you and you, uh, and you feel like you're being aggrieved because they want you to show up at a particular time, particular time or they want you to dress in a certain way or they want you to code in a particular language, then you're going to have trouble. Because at the end of the day, you're offering your, when you're offering your services as a developer, any professional really, at the end of the day, what you're doing is you're making, you're, you're there to make other people's lives easier. So besides the core function that you provide, there's all these other 
services, if you will, that you provide as well. One of my mentors told me he'd rather hire a average skilled individual who's easy to get along with, uh, can communicate well. He'd rather have this person working for him than a genius who's a total jerk. Genius jerks don't get far in life. That's it. So you can go look at article up on um, yeah Fortune. Boom. Bosses are firing Gen Z grads just months after hiring them. Here's what they need to change. So that's it. Now, if you disagree with that, that's fine. That means your, uh, your role in life is to become an entrepreneur, the disagreeable person. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's another thing. If you're watching and you're young, if you're going to go work for other companies, especially large corporate entities, ooh, interpersonal skills become supremely important. Supremely important. If you can't communicate and get along with people, you probably want to get into freelance and entrepreneurship. But even then, as a freelancer, uh, at the end of the day, you got to sell. And people are going to deal with people who they like. That's it. So uh, there you go. I hope that helps. If you're offended by this, uh, give me two thumbs down. Not one, but two. Go one, two. If you think my hair is too long, give me two thumbs down. And uh, that's about it. All right. By the way, I'm sympathetic, right? I haven't had a job working for somebody for decades. Well, ever, since I was a bouncer. That was my last job. And a part of it is that I couldn't deal with um, the corporate culture. I'm an easygoing guy. I'm an easygoing nerd. And I had employees working for me and so forth. And I'm, nobody complained about me. No, for the most part. And uh, yeah. But I can understand, you know, I've, I, I get a taste of corporate culture with some of my clients once in a while and through uh, for my SaaS work. But uh, yeah, you have to, anyway, when you're going in there, go in there with the spirit of giving, go in there with the expectation that you're there to help people, make their lives easier, be professional, show up on time, don't smell, don't smell, take a shower, uh, cut your fingernails, you know, wear a nice shirt, nice clothes, clothes. This is going to help you in so many ways in your life, not just your professional life, personal life as well. You get what you give. You get what you give in all aspects of life. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the ways of coding, professional development. I characterize myself as the world's oldest developer, 169 years old. That's what I say. I've been developing actually since the uh, 1990s, built several, uh, a few SaaS products, Lots and lots of freelance work too. Anyway, I hope you find this useful. Cheers.